If you guys are just tuning in, we have the Make Peace Brothers on right now on the line 90.7 FM. So when people listen to your music, they often do it to like channel relaxation and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I had a picture of somebody meditating. I know, right? <laughs> now, where do you guys go to find those things? Um, what, I don't know what that um, means. Like, where, what do you do to get relaxed and happiness? What kind of music oh, do you listen to? I music? listen to our music. Do you meditate? Do you, um... <laughs> no, actually, you know what I do, Enya. honestly, is I... <laughs> Enya and, uh, I like... It's funny, because I have a bunch of songs, and probably for all of us, we do songs that I don't play for other people, but I play for myself that are just kind of... So you listen they don't to have just words. his music all the time. <laughs> no, I play, I play the guitar, because it's such a meditative <laughs> thing. And I tell people sometimes, like, instead of trying because a lot of people think like oh i gotta write some songs and play all of a sudden just start mm-hmm. to play for yourself first so we have countless songs but the thing i do for relaxation a lot is just take my guitar and play things and don't write any lyrics to the things i'm playing just be able to say what what's on my mind and it's such a that's kind of what i do for musical relaxation is that and then uh a really uh go ahead i for relaxing music i've been listening to a lot of thievery corporation yeah, which yeah. is uh go Tam project and go tam project um, both those are just sort of a different kind of music. Not that it's not really poppy. It's not right there. It doesn't have that structure that normal songs and mm-hmm. you know what you hear on on pop radio. But it just gives you that feel. And I like a lot of the you know instrumentation or whatever they're doing. They're actually doing a lot of other stuff. But um, and then yeah, it's just those kind of music that relaxes me. So I get a lot of our relaxing stuff sort of from that feel right. of music and Brazilian music. I like. Ooh, Brazilian. Yeah. <laughs> what were you yeah. Gonna say that? yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we all grew up in Ithaca, and Ithaca, can you hear me? I'm like, oh, no, I don't. Here, use me. Um, no, just that, like, I think we all are runners, and we, I, I run a lot when I feel like I just need to go out and sort of just connect with um, something natural, that there's, like, there's nothing between me and the, the surrounding situation, so it's just, mm-hmm. like, a great way to go out and... And and then I've I think a lot of the music that I've written has sort of come out of that like basically trying to like figure out a pure s- a state of mind and then create that same mindset with music um, and that's I don't know so there's rhythms that end up being played that match the rhythms that I move to when I'm running right um, and I listen to a lot of other music that sort of brings me to that same place like a lot of african music actually i I find i think that we early on were um um given access to that through paul simon but then it's since then it's just been i've been finding stuff that either has come through ithaca or just is available online on the radio and and finding ways to like listen to this really rhythmic music that sort of to me is like kind of tribal it just like Mm -hmm. it, it matches something that's more rootsy than a lot of the stuff that we get nowadays has been filtered through um, machines machines because the machines sort of dictate in a lot of cases what you can record and oh, it feels yeah. like like if you can go back before that there's something that comes out that's really soulful so that's where I'm going right. definitely for the I think what across the board we would say is the the rhythms and um, music that has a, a continuous rhythm that gets you in a trance that's not like techno music but music that gets you feeling in your body your body gets to mm-hmm. be familiar with it and you just feel great so yeah. So you guys listen to a whole variety of music. Now, yesterday I was coming back from New York and I had all these mix CDs in my car and they had a ton of different kinds of music on it. If you had a mixtape, what would you put on it? <sighs> you should never just have one mixtape. Because <laughs> tapes are not long enough. Um, <laughs> my mixtape would have um, Bob Marley on it, Van Morrison, and then uh, sort of the like uh, Thievery Corporation, like I mentioned. Um, those are just three artists that right there. I could mock to that. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a good one. Just as like a listening, so like, a, like, sure, like yeah. a life <laughs> soundtrack. Um, I'm not usually going to collect music. I, some I Rihanna might them slide onto that. <laughs> Definitely. I, would, I could love picturing you singing like Rude Boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song. It's now, you guys have a uh, question from one of your fans named Tef. He said, being in the music business is probably quite hard. What advice can you give to those who would like to become musicians? Um, do, 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 don't s- force things. <laughs> That's what comes to my <laughs> That's mind. <it. laughs> That's what comes to my mind first. It's kind of the overall arching advice is saying, hey, let the music carry itself and 
this to new songwriters. I, I've, ma- I've made this point several times because people ask us this question a lot. Um, let yourself write songs. If, if you've written two songs and you think they're great, keep writing right, songs. Keep Don't writing decide them. that your genre is like um, John Mayer because you wrote two songs. You have right. much more inside of you. Let it all come. Let as much come out as possible. And even if it's not a full song, even if it's a part, let it. Let yourself see the spectrum of what's inside before you decide what you and then and then allow like I said before I play music for myself that other people never really hear that's not so for them saying don't put and then allow in a box. the people who are listening happen to be listening around you let them decide what they want to hear and say oh we really like that one and then you can have the other stuff but get yourself a bigger arsenal before you put yourself in a little box to because I think it hurts a lot of people. They then they think they have to make songs just like John Mayer for the rest of their life, and they might not. They're not John Mayer. John Mayer is John Mayer. You know. What I mean? <laughs> no. So, I like that. That's good. Um, now you have you were mentioning the flip episodes before. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> we like to make flip episodes. Um, flip cameras. We have flip cameras, so we we decided to use them, and I came up with the term flip episode because I thought it made sense. So. We make little shorts about what's going on in our lives. Little documentaries of what we've been doing, what we've been up to. and uh, Sometimes they have ideas that people can get involved in, or they're just showing what we're doing, or they have a new song on them. Um, Is that your way of connecting with your fans? I think it's it's definitely a way for updating our fans what we're we're up to and letting people know what's going on, and them just getting to explore what we're we're happening, what we're doing. So, definitely. Do you guys have another song to play for us? We could keep playing songs, definitely. Well, um, do we want to do a uh, let's a, do a, a recording, a studio one, one studio of the new one, studio right? ones that we yeah. Could we not? Yeah, let's do breathe. You want to do breathe? Sure. Do let me uh, let me get that for you in just a second. Okay. Um, but I just have one more question for you. You guys are brothers and musicians. Uh-huh. Now, do you ever get sick of each other? You just drive yourself, each other crazy. <sighs> yeah. Um, <laughs> of course, we're brothers, but we we happen to to get along. We. We grew up a lot together, so we've spent a lot of time hanging out together all of our lives. So mm-hmm. um, we got a chance to do that as, as for our whole childhood. So well, we've worked through a lot of the things that are extremely aggra- aggravating about the other people. <laughs> 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 it's still stuff, you know, in any situation when you're working together, you're going to have to work through, you know, when something comes up, a conflict. And you just got to work on tools, really, essentially, to diffuse situations and it definitely works and you, in any situation when you're traveling a lot together spending that much many hours together you know things are going to come <laughs> up but, but the basic thing is overall, what's, what's what do we want to do and let's dedicate to make it happen because we love what what we're about and what we're trying to do more than just the petty arguments that can come up so mm-hmm. it's working through those things and understanding that they happen but they don't have to take take over so we'll do we'll do a song while you guys look for that one yeah. okay great um Cool. Let's do a uh, um, let's do a song called Hey La La. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> 